Hey you guys, okay it's a whole new day and today I am doing quite a bit of organizing, rearranging, making things in my beauty room a little bit more easily accessible to me and just better organized, you know what I mean? And I was going through... <laughs> Looking at my blushes, okay, I feel like I have a problem, okay? <laughs> Definitely. See, I thought palettes was my problem, but apparently it's palettes and blushes and highlight. <laughs> but today we're focusing on blushes. Um, I have several drawers of single blushes. Like, these are single blushes. These are single blushes. And as you can see, this drawer is really not easily accessible, not very user friendly. I mean, I have, you know, so many blushes packed in here. I really have to dig through and open everything up just to even choose blushes to use. So I really want to make my blushes more easily accessible for me. Um, I have even more down here, as you can see. And like these singles are in here because they are actually overflow that should be up here in one of these drawers, but they don't fit. And these are more so like blush palettes, um, quads, things like that, you know, that just have either a blush and a highlight or they have, you know, a few blushes in them. You know, this is the ABH blush kit, you know, so it's like just stuff like that where I don't want single blushes in there with them. And I also have another drawer down here that you can barely see that has blush palettes in it as well. <laughs> so y'all, I, I think what I'm gonna do with the single blushes, because I do have a good amount of liquid blushes now. Liquid blushes, um, also putty blushes, you know, cream type blushes. Um, I have quite a few that are you know non powder blushes so I kind of want to separate the um, liquid blushes and putty blushes and super shock blushes if I put those in its own drawer in area that I think will free up some space maybe even um, what else can I put in there? I mean, I have quite a few, you know, super shock blushes and stuff. So it will free up a lot of space over here and over here. And then in this drawer, I have more liquid blushes as well. So that will free up space here. And this has uh, more of my like higher end blushes. You know, like I have Patrick Pine here, um, LYS. Uh, who is this? Oh, one size. Um, Uma Beauty. I don't know if they're hiring, but Pat McGrath. You know, so maybe I will have one drawer that has more high end, one that has drugstore, one that has like putty blushes, liquids, and sticks. You know, stuff like this. I don't know. And then like these blush duos that I have like from Juvia's Place, I feel like maybe I can put these in like with the blush palettes and blush books and stuff. I don't know. But see like this should not be in here. This should be in my other drawer because, well I don't know though because this is a blush highlight situation but it's still not a single blush. <sighs> anyway. That's what I'm working on today, y'all. <laughs> so I got this little basket over here that I'm going to put the liquid blushes, putty blushes and all that stuff in here and then sit down and try to organize. Cause I have a drawer missing up here. It's another drawer that goes in here that I took out, emptied out in preparation for this. And I'll let you guys know, or I'll let you guys see the finished product. I don't know if, you know, I'll kind of speed up the process so you guys can see me go ahead and get organized, but child, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys, just a quick update. I did separate out into this basket, like all of my stick, liquid, putty, cream, blushes you know anything that is not just a dry powder 
I did separate it out into this little basket here. So this is going to be its own drawer, I think, because this is quite a bit. And so I think now what I'm going to do is decide if I want to just leave these drawers, you know, all singles now that I can kind of organize them better or if I want, if I'm going to leave like these, you know, blush trios and blush palettes and stuff in here. I kind of feel like I want to um, take these out, to be honest with you, and maneuver them somehow with the blush palettes. See this, my power one, this is a blush and a highlight. So, mm, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is kind of organize these with the smaller palettes yeah that's a blush trio and then i have these two see I, it's like i can't even see these in here i just realized they were in here because i moved some of this other stuff around this is another one from sleek that's another trio gorgeous but these are my blushes from adept gorgeous so yeah i think i'm gonna have to have a separate section even for those i just need to get more get my stuff together oh my goodness this house labs Ugh, do y'all see that i know this is not a blush collection video <laughs> but yo and then ones like this oh so pretty it's the blush and the highlight in there it's so gorgeous <sighs> anyway and then I have these like the one size ones you know where it's like the three different blushes and one of them is cream it's like do I put this with the creams or do I put it with the regular ones you know like what is your girl to do I have my Patrick Taws where it's half and half half powder half cream <sighs> I don't know but y'all I'm about to get these Jacqueline ones oh so pretty I'm about to get organized though, honey, because I want to be able to reach in my, I hate this Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath packaging. This is the hardest blush on the planet to open, but the color is shall popping, okay? <laughs> this is one of my favorite colors, <laughs> but it's so hard to open. Anyway, I've got to figure this out. This is just one blush. It's one Sydney Grace blush that they sent me for free when I ordered some shadows from them a long time ago. So I just put that in there. But yeah, I feel like I just want straight up single blushes um, in these drawers, in these two drawers here. And then I want to put the trios and quads and stuff like that in here that's that's what i want to do so yeah i'm gonna have to organize all of these quads and palettes and stuff i'm not doing no declutter honey y'all <laughs> y'all know i am not doing no declutter and then you know the larger palettes can go down here so like stuff like this I'll go with the smaller palettes like that I just took out you know instead of being with my big larger palettes I think so yeah and even like my Juvia's Place I'll put all of these smaller ones together and then I'll put the bigger ones together so yep that's what I'm doing I'm about to get organized I'm about to get my life together but I still can't decide on these one size should i put these with the regular blushes or should this be i mean it's three different colors right this should go with the trios and the quads yeah i think one size you are going to have to look at that that's pretty really really pretty kind of looks like bronzer but it's a gorgeous blush shade though um this one is Rich Betch 
and this one is fire starter just in case you guys are curious <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and get started and then I'll show you guys the final product because child, this is about to be a task. Okay, you guys, so I am so happy. This is so much better organized for me to be able to see my blushes, know what I have, know what I could grab. All of these together, these are all, you know, my putty blushes, my dew blushes I have over here. I forgot I even had these from ColourPop. Completely forgot I even had them because they were buried underneath other blushes. You know, I have my NYX blushes here. So these are all like cream stuff, Danessa Myricks. Um, you know, and then I have my cream blushes in here, you know, the LYS. Um, and what else do I have? ColourPop, my Super Shocks, my sticks. This is a ColourPop stick that, you know, I probably never would use. And then I put like this um, behind this tray here, I put another tray to keep it from sliding back because that's another reason why it becomes hard for me to access my stuff in these drawers because there's a lot of empty space in the back. So yeah, like this is gorgeous. Like I forgot I had this and child, that is pretty. So anyway, you know, this is my new Maybelline Sun Kisser blush. This ridiculously overly pigmented crazy blushes <laughs> from makeup uh, by Tammy that I'm going to have to practice with them, you guys. They are just uh, so pigmented. And then I have my Juvia's Place, my new e.l.f. ones. I am so happy with this configuration, okay? I love it. It's beautiful. Easy to access my stuff. Now, this drawer here, I'm probably going to organize a little bit better, but I have more room to work with. And this is more so... Um, you know, like my more affordable blushes I have in here, Milani, um, NYX, you know, NYX blushes, which I probably do need to do a declutter, but y'all know I ain't declutter no dang on blushes, but I have <laughs> NYX, bl NYX blushes, you know, I have my Revolution blushes, child, oh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely am a blush fan. ColourPop, you know, this is one of their small world after all blushes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. What is this? Dancing Darlings. But anyway, you know, more ColourPop blushes. And then these new NYX ones that I'm going to try with my Shop My Stash that I just got. Um, I hate this kind of packaging. It's so hard to open. But I got these two new ones, Buttermilk Blushes. You know, old Milani that I refuse to get rid of. What is this? Jordana. I probably got this in a subscription box years ago, but I like the color. You know, just all kind of stuff. Another Revolution Blush. I have blushes from Beauty Bay. You know... Beautiful, beautiful color for fall. Beauty Bay got some super bold blushes too. This is a super deep, dark pink Cosmo. Anyway, so this is like all more affordable blushes. Do you guys remember when Folklore duped out those um, blushes by... Who did these blushes? Cover effects? <laughs> And they, I mean, they copied them to a T. I still have two of those, you know. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of, these are so stinking cute, okay, from ColourPop. Baby Cakes, I love these little hearts. They're so cute. Look at this. So cute. But I have some of those in the corner. So I can organize this one a bit better, but at least I have a little bit more room to breathe since I took my cream products out of there. And then this one here is more, you know, I just kept like the higher end uh, black owned brand. You know, I have Clarity, I have DJ's Unique Boutique, I have um, Juvia's, I have Uma Beauty, um, the Lip Bar, blushes from the lip bar. I have Fenty Beauty in here. So more so just 
higher end blushes and black owned brands minted um i have a mark jacobs i have patrick ta jacqueline so it's just you know now i have more room to actually see what i have and be able to pick things more easily i can stop dropping them um, pick things more easily. My Pat McGrath, Laura Mercier, NARS, um, Sephora. What color is this? This is a Snapdragon. So it's one of their duos, blush duos and Snapdragon. That's pretty. What color NARS blush do I have? Oh, that's light, but that's kind of like glowy. You can see that glow in there. That's pretty though. Um... Steve Laurent, I'm sure I got this in a subscription box because I ain't never bought nothing from Steve Laurent, but that color is gorgeous. Melt. Um, I decluttered one of these, I think, because it was too light. And then this one is really light, too. It's more of, you know, like the colored type blush. But I would use this more so as a highlight, but I just go ahead and leave it in here because it does have some color to it. Um, so anyways, yeah, you know, minted. Minted has some really gorgeous blush shades as well. I probably already showed that one. That was gorgeous. And then this one, yeah, that's like a deep chocolate. Almost looks like a bronzer, to be honest with you. What is that? Yeah, it says it's a blush. Clay top. Cl oh, clay too much. <laughs> it's called clay too much. And then this one is buried away. So gorgeous shades, but yeah. So, I don't know if I really deal with organizing these more right now. I'm just more so, so very happy about this. Oh my goodness. So, I know it's absolutely ridiculous that I have one, two, three, four. I know you can't really see that. But four, this is like those smaller like blush trios and quads that I wanted to move into a different drawer. So that's what's in here. And then <laughs> five. I have five blush drawers. I don't want to hear nothing about it either because child, I do not care. I love me some blush, okay? Got the Royal Romance. Oh, <laughs> child. Rouge Romance. This was from Jacqueline Cosmetics, honey. This Rouge Romance. Oh my goodness, child, don't play with me. Please do not, don't do it. So anyway, I got my five blessed drawers together and I'm so happy about it. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to do one last quick check-in because I did organize the affordable and drugstore drawer a little bit better so that, you know, it's more easily accessible so the ones that are by the same brand i just kind of stack those together you know like these are elf so you know i can just look through at the different shades this um i only have two amuse beauty i think i got those from shop miss a and then there's a cover girl behind there so i only have one cover girl so i just stuck her in there but i have this milani and a couple of nicks both of these are ColourPop, and these are ColourPop. All of these are ColourPop, but I wanted to kind of separate out the cardboard packaging from the plastic packaging. These are my Beauty Bays, and I think I have something else back here, though. Yeah, I have a Revolution back there because I only have one like that. This NYX Sweet Cheeks, I only have one of these, so I put them in front of these Revolutions, but next to my new NYX uh, Butter Blushes. Um, I have some L'Oreal. These are all just miscellaneous brands that only have like one. Um, I have my Folklore. And then in the back are blushes that I really don't reach for and probably won't reach for. So I don't mind them being in the back until I decide to declutter them. So yes, very, very happy with that. I didn't really do anything else with the high end and black owned drawer because I'm okay with the way it's set up. This is decent enough for me to be able to see what I have and get to things. So yeah, I'm so happy. I have all of my drawers 
you know, organized and looking good. And even going through my blushes and stuff right now, I'm, you know, I'm really not in a state for the clutter. I don't care how many blushes I have. I want each and every one of the blushes I have. So <laughs> that's it, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me while I got organized. Hopefully it may have inspired you to organize your own blushes and, you know, or whatever, anything that you might have that you need to organize. Go ahead and take that stuff out and get it more neat and orderly so that you can enjoy it better. Okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you later. Toodles!